Eli. Um, so notes for you. First of all, your triplet coordinate pulse throughout most of everything was... Love listening to that uh, triplet coordinate pulse. You have a really good interpretation of that. Um, on the nine lit primer, where my sticks go? Uh, this guy. You have pretty good singles. I think there was like one or two of them that were just a little bit too closed. Like you just kind of like leaned into it just a little bit too much. Remember that um, that section is a check for that. Yeah. Um, and then for the book primer, book primer, opened up last phrase, slow rolls. Okay. So this guy, I just think your your interpretation of the of the triplet roll could be a little bit more aggressive. You're a little bit behind the beat on that one. Um, that roll is just a little bit like too relaxed for me. And then on top of that, um, the, that double coming out of it, that left hand double, it's usually too tight. It's good in the first check part, but then as soon as you add the roll, it turns into kind of like rushes in there and I think it's because your roll starts to get slow and so like you kind of like rush to kind of catch the met so you you squeeze that space but um not sure other than that your rhythms are pretty solid um yeah and then especially at the end especially at the end um that last book part uh right there those two notes were way too open uh whenever you whenever you did it and then the roll coming out of it was like was like super slow uh like that's should be a little bit more drive behind that. Um, remember those those notes are still triplets, and triplets at 176 is still pretty fast. Um, that's that rhythm at the end. So don't lose the drive there. Um, and then yeah, that's that's all I got for you. One one thing that I wanted to talk about with you is that um. Your rhythms are generally good. I, I like your rhythmic interpretation. I just think you're suffering a little bit uh, from your diddle quality. And I'm not sure if they answered your questions last time, but I wanted to tell you this like little theory of mine that I have and that um, like the secret to good open diddles is whenever you hit the pad, right? Obviously there's rebound and the stick has to come up. But for the stick to come up, something has to happen in the back of the hand. So whenever you do a diddle, like people usually think closed hand, closed hand. Um, but I like to think of my fingers in the back of the hand as like, a rubber band like if you had a rubber band strapped around the stick what would it do whenever it hit the pad the stick would come up but the rubber band would be contact contact it let it open and then it like snap back right the rubber band would open and then close and so that's kind of what's happening on like a micro level that i think is happening for my doodles so that like, you get like two nice high diddles just think of those back fingers being kind of like a rubber band constant constant contact with the stick but moving with it and snapping it back together it's happening in like a very small motion um yeah I'll, I'll i'll talk about it um come tomorrow and then the movement one primer solid singles on the long phrase just watch like as you get to the end you kind of like tippy toe into like rushing rushing uh, uh the rushing region and then last part your eighth notes whatever the sticking is um, starts starts off great, but then as like the phrase gets longer and longer, you start rushing just a little bit, and it's just like I don't know what's going on because I think that's like a mental thing because you're you're playing it great in the beginning, and then as, as you add on it, it uh, it rushes up a little bit. So I know it's it's a long phrase, but I'm like the show is the show is a long phrase as well. So it's all about that like mental fortitude. It's like how like can you can you get into the groove to play those eighth notes like perfectly every time. Um, because after, after a while, you stop thinking about it, and it just becomes like a cycle. It just becomes like, I know I'm going to nail these eight notes because I've played it so many times. Anyways, keep it up, keep it up.